Hey you guys, Katya here. I'm here today to teach you one more class. This one I consider advanced, so get ready. Hi guys, Katya here. How are you doing today? Um, first of all, subscribe to the channel and give the thumbs up if you like this video so I can keep making more for you and more often. Also, click on that little bell on the top so you can get all the notifications, okay? So let's get started. Today is gonna be an advanced class. You're not gonna need anything, just yourself and let's get going. All right, I'm already gonna start strong so but we're gonna sit on your heels here okay like this uh with the knees a little bit close to the edge of the carriage just push the carriage open the chest here relax your head say no sway side to side take a deep breath in roll back after the spine the head's the best one to extend inhale make a big rainbow with your arm exhale come back and push we're just doing that to warm up the shoulder a little bit i do recommend that you are a little bit warmer than that actually that you do a little more but just for the sakes of the video and the, to not be too long here i'm gonna go and show some moves all right and then from here we're going to push out and come back and catch out and come back working some heat getting some heat going here some fascia some cardio here we go so you push and back and push and back so look now we're gonna clap on the top oh by the way if i forgot to tell you we have a red spring in here so let's keep going there you go clap on the top and down let's do five more and four and three and two and one don't forget this is advanced so if you feel comfortable tuck your toe here and now we're gonna go up on your knee up on your knee up on your knee up on your knee four more okay four Woo. and three and two and one beautiful from here i'm gonna make it a little bit easy put a blue spring for you and we're gonna start with some abs i love warm up with the abs so this time watch this we're gonna do jump on the board grab the poles and do some ab work so here we go grab the pole and we're gonna lift the hip up towards the ceiling and lower the leg lift it up towards the ceiling and lower the leg lift it up again and lower come back to the foot bar again three more one and two and three foot bar two more one and two and three foot bar last one one and two and three and foot bar now you're gonna bring your knee in and extend the leg three times and two and three and come back so i usually do more reps than this uh, but just because we want to go and make the video not too long i'm only doing a couple more so two more one and two and three last one here one and two and three great job from here not over yet we're gonna do the corkscrew so you jump you hold for that i want you to keep your thigh facing the ceiling the whole time make a circle and come to the center make another circle and center bend the knee a little bit to land let's do two more circle to one side center circle to the other side center soft the knee 
and jump. Last one. Circle to side. Center. Circling other side. Center. Here. Now a little oblique. So we're gonna bring the knee to the chest. Extend the leg to the to that side. We're gonna, I usually do 10 times on the class, the same side, but I'm gonna only do two more here, totalizing five, and now going to the other side. Notice that when you extend the leg like this, you wanna keep your thigh facing the ceiling the whole time. You don't wanna turn this, the hip, okay? So two more here. Yes, and then down. Good, so now we're just gonna go up and down for five, just to keep creating some heat, some cardio. So you can do so many things right here. Okay, so two more. And last one. Good. I'm already sweaty. Now we're gonna go and roll up, extending the leg, roll up through the spine. Let's keep going. So I still have a blue spring in here and we're gonna do a little stretch or get your hip warmed up, okay? So I'm going to go with the single thigh stretch, opening the chest and extending. So I have one red for this. You can put a red and a yellow. It really depends on what you wanna accomplish. So I'm gonna do two more. Always aligning, leveling the shoulder. Last one. There, perfect. Now I'm gonna switch legs. So opening the chest, extend the leg. One, again, two, three, and four. Great, okay. Now, <laughs> I want to level up a little bit. So I put a blue spring, having a total of a red and a blue. I'm going to come up here on my heels, get a nice little stretch, a big stretch on my back and chest. And I'm going to place my, I'm going to actually lift the foot bar to the highest level. Okay, and I'm gonna put my foot on the head rest. You don't have to, you can just keep your foot against the shoulder rest. And I'm gonna do the up stretch from here. So I'm gonna push out the carriage and go to the long line plank, all right? And then I'm gonna move here. And then I'm gonna bring the chin to the chest and roll back up like a wave so i'm gonna do let's do two more do the best you can on that form last one perfect and from here i'm now gonna take one leg up very tall and bring it down on my knee like this for three Keep lifting tall, bringing back here. Two, one more. Beautiful, lengthening, putting the leg back. Lengthening that spine. Let's try the other leg. I know today I'm not on my best day, but I'm doing the best I can with that form. So bringing the knee in, lifting the leg really high. I'm not a ballerina. But that's kind of what we're going for here. One more time. Up and back. Okay. Now we're going to do that uh, up stretch again with a little extension on the chest. So as you come here, I also want you to lift your head up, extending the torso. And then inch inch warm back. So pushing out, moving forward with the arms, lifting the chest to the sky, and then inch warm back. Two more, because it feels so good. And down, 
It does feel amazing. It feels amazing. It's hard, but it's good. And last one. Oh, it's hard to talk and do it. So don't judge my form. I'm stepping down here, putting my foot here for a front split. From the front, for the front, for, for the front split. We're gonna do like we are doing the single tie stretch, but we're extending and bending the knee. Doing two more, total of four. Now keep the legs straight. See if you can lift your hip up and down for four and up and down for three and up and down for two and up and down one now bending the knee again coming up nice and tall opening that chest circle the arms stabilize now the leg extend and bend in front of you you stay on the same height Ima imagine the ceiling is right here three i'm only doing four of each but usually i can do eight in the class make sure your hips are leveled shoulders leveled and now like this up and down four all right three two in one and if you're in a mood you can definitely try going all the way down nice and carefully of course coming back lift it up nice and tall that leg keep the chest really close to the thigh and bend the knee one more time and bring it back that feels so good guys <laughs> Let's now do everything on the other side. So foot in here, the little front splits. So extending and bending. So as you see, the hip stays kind of on the same level. We're just extending and bending the front leg. We're doing two more here. One more. Keep the legs straight, coming up and down. Oh yeah, ooh yummy, <laughs> yummy is stretch. Two more, see how that goes. One more, fine and mellow, bending the knee here, nice and tall, lifting the arm, extension of the spine. All right, here we go, extend and bend. One, and two, balance, sh shoulders leveled. Three, and four, staying straight still. Here we go, four. I don't know if I can do all the way down with this leg, I'll try. Two, mm. and three, this one is not my most flexible one. And four, let's try, let's try. Slowly leaning forward, oh yeah. And and then, oh yeah, I, I forgot, I, I actually finished like this, right? I put the leg back, lift it tall, and bended the knee, and came back. Okay. All right, you guys, so that was uh, one of those. Now, I want to, to I want to bring you to another level. You ready? <laughs> Okay, it's a little creative, a little out there, but again, if you're not ready, don't do it. If you're not advanced, it's not for you, right? Don't, you are, should be an adult and decide what you're doing here. Um, you're doing on your own. It's kind of, it's kind of challenging. So, I have no springs here. I've got a little bit ballet inspired. So this is uh, the studio reformer, as you can see. So I have it on the way on the higher sh higher shelf, and I'm putting my leg here, getting like a nice ballerina posture, head up towards the ceiling, just creating some pretty movement and extending the arm, moving my leg a little bit, having an a, you know, they're getting my body 
with good posture and prepared. Maybe lifting the heel. A little bit grace, graceful movements. Good. And now a little plie and lift and plie and lift. One more little plie here. Yeah, good. Okay, from here, placing your hand on the carriage and locking the carriage there. That's very, very important. Then I'm going to put my foot here, okay, on the platform first, on the other, and then I'm going to go up and up. Oh, yeah. Then I'm attempting to do a kind of downward dog pose right here. My tail is up towards the ceiling, chest facing the floor, and I'm coming back to my hand, and I realize I have to have my hand a little bit farther over here in order to do what I want to do. So here we go. So again, opening my chest, tucking the tail under, and now, yes, is what I wanted, coming to a plank. From this plank, I can go to an inchworm again, which I'm not the greatest one on thoracic flexibility. So it doesn't look very pretty. I get it. I get it. But stand there with me, okay? I'm working on it. Lifting. And now, just like we did in the beginning there, I'm going to lift one leg up really big bend the knee oh yeah this feels so good then i'm gonna put my knee on the carriage guys i'm gonna turn the ca the leg that's on the bar and i'm gonna come up tall right here press down with my scapula and then work my inner thigh my arms are in i should have faced you first i get it all right and then I'm going to stretch. Just going to do one more. Okay, my shoulders, sorry if they're not leveled. I actually have arthritis on my back and a bit of scoliosis, so I'm trying. It should be leveled, okay? And now I'm going to go back to that position by lifting the leg super high again and bending and putting it back here and that feels good we're gonna do the inch warm again Woo! And lifting the chest and then chin to the chest oh my god just all this articulation on the spine it just feels wonderful opening up all right one more now the other leg let's go up, lengthening, bend, oh yeah, feels good, bring it in, reaching up towards the carriage, I get it, if you're not that tall, you may not be able to do this one, yes, I get it, that, okay, so just jump that part, and here's how we're supposed to do, and you press the leg here, and open, and then stretch to the side and again in and out. I don't know if my shoulders are leveled. I have I don't have a mirror right there. Yes, and now oops, I don't even know how I left the bar on the other one. I think I just went this way. And I'm holding on that platform. And my hands are really gonna go for it. And I'm gonna lift the leg up again oh yeah bend the knee one more time because this it just feels so good and lower lift my heel here stretching my calf oh yeah one more mm. and rolling back to the inchworm and up oh. and then stepping back on the platform if you want and the floor and repeat everything on the other side yeah this is what I had for you today I know it was short but pretty intense so hope you enjoyed please comment share this video 
give me the thumbs up so I can get some support from you and know that you like it, okay? And um, see you next time. Bye.